Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you guys how to make this really simple survival house in Minecraft. So shall we start? Well, let's get into it. So for this build we need these blocks. Let me show you. We need spruce planks, spruce door, spruce trapdoor, spruce fence, strip dark oak log, dark oak planks, dark oak stairs, dark oak slab, cobblestone, cobblestone stairs, cobblestone slab, cobblestone wall, and glass paint. Let's begin our building. First, we are going to build the walls. And uh, the walls are going to be 6 by 8. And for each corner, we're going to put a different block. So, for the walls, we're going to use spruce planks and strip dark wall blocks. On the bright uh, part of this uh, line, we're going to put our strip dark oak log, and on the other parts, we're going to use spruce planks. And we're going to do this for all sides. Like uh, this. After that, we're going to raise them uh, about four more blocks, so uh, in total, they're going to be five blocks tall. Also, if you guys did not know that, you guys can use different blocks. This is just what I recommend for you guys, and I like these more than the other combination of blocks. And done. However, we are going to have a little slight change to these. For the front parts of our building, our walls, we're going to raise the frames one more block. Also, uh, where our uh, spruce planks uh, stopped, we're going to connect the oak, uh, sorry, stripped dark oak locks. However, for the sides, we're not going to do it. You guys might ask why? Because I think I'm, because after our build, this is going to be invisible. We can't really see it. So, even from the inside. So we're going. Not, we're not going to put any blocks. So kind of we can make the uh, the the building more cheaper. Our walls are done. Now let's uh, move to our roof. The roof is going to be a little bit different, but you guys probably saw all the, the designs on my other videos. Check them out, by the way. We, need, we are going to use dark oak planks, dark oak stairs, dark oak slabs, cobblestone, cobblestone stairs, cobblestone slab, and cobblestone wall, also called spruce fence, for the last touches for our roof. So, the first thing we want to do is remove these two blocks and put them with dark oak planks. Again, we don't want to put them here. As I told you guys, we they are going to be invisible. We don't really need them. So, now it's time to make the roof. First, we're going to put our stir of cobblestone around our house. The layer which our wooden uh, spruce wooden planks uh, stopped. Also, the uh, stairs should be one block uh, right or left to uh, the uh, the wall we have here, because we want our roof to come out of our house. We don't want it to stick like it, so it will look better. We're going to add this shape, and every end of these stairs, we're going to add uh, upside down cobblestone stairs. Put blocks, cobblestone blocks on them and kind of do this pattern and pattern so we can get them reach to a point like this so you guys can see now we are now in a point good now we're going to do the exact thing we did here on the other side done. 
Okay, so now the frame of our roof is done. It's time to put our uh, dark oak planks. Let's use them. For this stir, as what we did for our last video, which it's going to be in the description, also a card on the top right of your screen, we are going to put uh, the blocks one block lower than the, our frame, like this. So the stairs are, are on this level, but we're not going to put them there. We're going to put them here. For the oak, uh, for sorry, strip dark oak logs, um, we're going to put them next to it. Also, we're going to do this for other sides. Also, before everything ends and things like that, you guys can make the roof of your house. I like to put it on this layer, which we have our uh, connected stripped, uh, uh, stripped woods. As I told you guys, from inside, this place is invisible. So that's why we didn't put any blocks there, just a really simple thing. You guys can even put dirt. I mean, like, why not? Make everything cheap. Like, uh, other layers, uh, we don't want to connect them. We want to put a slab in front of them. So kind of this uh, shape will come to it. It looks awesome, isn't it? And also, for the front and uh, the back of our house, we're going to put slabs. Why? We actually use the two... Uh, Separate these two layers, this spruce planks and spruce oh dark planks. Also we're going to do this for other sides. However, for this part we don't really need it because because we have separated with these frame. So yeah. Now it's time to use the cobblestone wall and spruce fence. In these I wish we have stripped uh, dark oak look. We're going to put a cobblestone wall and a spruce fence on it. We're going to do this for all the sides. So, because now we have the fence and the cobblestone, okay, we're going to use them on another part of our house, so let's do it. For each of these edge, we're going to do the exact same thing, but upside down. Do this for all the sides. It just adds a little small detail, which makes our house look better. Okay, so first thing we want to put our doors. This house will have two entries. I mean, kind of, yeah. One entry and one entry in the back, which we're going to do it. Also, we're going to remove these blocks. Also, for the floor, we're going to use dark oak planks. I recommend you guys put slabs because they're much easier. Okay, so guys, now we're going to change these blocks to spruce stairs. And another reason we actually put like these, it was because of our stairs. Let me show you. So let's have our spruce stairs and put them on the top. However, if we didn't do that and put them in here, it will look a little weird. Look, uh, it's, that's not what I want. It's like a hole. I can see it through. No, I don't want that. Security. All like this. We're gonna do this for the other side too. Like this. And good. So guys, now you guys have a little hands to work in. But still, it's not done. You did windows and other things and things like that. So let's make them. Okay, so first thing we want to kind of mark how we want to put on our stained glass panes. You guys can be any stained glass paint. I like these because they're my favorite. But to make it even cheaper, you guys can use the normal stained glass paint, whatever. Oh my god, I forgot it. 
boot. Okay, so here we're going to mark. It. First of all, we're going to use spruce uh, spruce trapdoors. We're going to mark him like this, as uh, like this. And in the middle, we're going to put our glass. And we got it. That that's done. But what we did for our door, we're going to do the same for our windows. You guys might like to put uh, windows there, but it looks a little bit like, I don't know, skinny because of the holes it has. So, yeah. And another reason is that for here, we don't have any stairs on this side, so let's make it better, you know? Yeah. Also, because we have the spruce strap doors on our house, we're going to put them in our frames, only the fast layer. Aha! Uh -huh, we reached our we want to make our other windows however you guys can use other uh, other designs for your windows also I'm going to try to make a video about window designs if you guys have any problem with them sorry wait just wait a few few weeks maybe yeah mm. yes okay let's start so we're going to do the same you guys can uh, use your own design but for this design I like this one I don't know I came to this idea and I think it looks gracious Awesome. Now let's put our white stained glass. So guys, our house is done. Yes, it looks crazy beautiful. I really like it. You guys can decorate the inside as how you like. I have some few examples for you. You guys can see it there. That's thing. I have a long walk. Goodbye, new house. Hello. You guys can see that we actually use the same uh, things here. However, if you guys actually know other combination of uh, choosing different kind of blocks, you guys can use different blocks for each one so they won't look like the uh, exact same, which your build is going to look better. So here I have this. However, for the roof, I made them one uh, uh, top layer. Also, we added uh, one window here to kind of show you guys that uh, you guys can put any windows you want. Also, we did the same at the back and the roof sides. But you guys can use other things. So let's see how the inside looks. You guys can put about everything you need for your first few uh, days of your Minecraft survival. For here, we put a double uh, bed. It looks really good. I really like this design. We got a, uh, I don't know, sofa, let's say. And we got our storage room. In, in Java edition, you guys can make them slippery, but in the P edition, you can, which is really weird. And no problem. Also, we got our smoker and our crafting table. A few lights, too. You know, I can't see anything. And at the back, you guys might ask, why did I build it? You guys can also don't use it, but I think it's beautiful. I add a Look at this, it looks really beautiful. And for the other one, we actually had like a beacon yard. And you guys can see that we got crafting tables here. Also our storage room here. And we so far with different kind of uh, things. Hooded uh, lanterns and like spruce uh, trapdoors to make it look better. And the outside. For this one we didn't add any garden but we can on the open side so we can see this beautiful scene. Look at this beauty! Oh my god! Well guys, that was all for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. And you guys can learn everything on my channel. Like and share for more videos. Subscribe, that's the most important thing. I don't know why I forgot that. Don't ask. Okay, so hope you guys did enjoy and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Also, watch my other tutorials. Again, I said in uh, learning the video tutorial, but watch them. They're really good, I hope. I mean, yes. And goodbye. Boop.